Hey folks, what we're going to do here is prove that there are two untracked coronal mass ejections heading at the Earth. Right now it is Sunday morning. This is Eastern Standard Time, 1036. What you're seeing here is the coronal mass ejection that comes off the backside of the Sun when the sun diving comet hits it. There are two that are not shown there, both headed at Earth. Now you'll see the sun diving comet come up here. That is the first Earth directed CME. That's the coronal mass ejection on the Enlil spiral you just saw, and there goes a third. Uh, coronal mass ejection, the second one aimed at the sun, uh, or aimed at the, the earth, excuse me. There it is again, one, two, that's the one that you see on the spiral. Now those two headed at the earth over to the right aren't being tracked. Now this is the stereo A and earth is over to the left. You see one coronal mass ejection go out that way. That's the big one you see on the spiral and then there's another one coming right at the earth. We'll let you watch it again. Now the one in the middle is the one that you see here and you can see that the two coming at Earth are not being tracked. It's very simple to see. And what we're going to show you here is some shots from the GOES and the SDO. You can check the timestamp down at the bottom and you can even see a little bit that you can't usually see ejections on that but you kind of can there and you definitely can here in the SDO. This is the first one, mind you. This is before. And then here we go. This is... All right, that little wave back there on the left was the CME that came from when the comet hit. And that one right there was the last one we saw headed at Earth. There's no doubt about it, folks. I just showed it. And you can check it yourselves. I'm going to put the links below to all of this. They're only tracking one CME, and the two that they're not tracking are both coming at Earth. Keep an eye on that KP index. Uh, we use space weather and we love it. Be safe, everybody.